hello everyone welcome in cool it help guys in this tutorial i will tell you about the three very cool features of the vlc media player and these are video converter second one is a screen recorder and third one is the ability to place a watermark on the video so guys you can uh, do these three activities inside the vlc player itself okay guys let's get started with the first one so first one is video converter how you will use the video converter i will show you here so just first open the vlc media player okay guys now you have to go here in the media menu and then you have to click on the convert save and on this window will appear and here you have to choose the file tab and here you have to add one input file with the help of this browse button and just open it up here and in the bottom there's a button convert and save just click on it and you will be on this window and here the settings you can choose the output format and you have to choose the output path on which you want to generate the output file so i have given the name and selected the output path just click start button okay guys the process is started it will take some time depends on the length of the video and your converted file will be ready on your desired output path Yeah, processing is done now I will check this file I'm going to do a right click here and I will open this inside the VLC media player as well okay guys uh, this is the output.mp4 right now and it is working properly so the conversion is done by the VLC is perfect and now we will check to the second feature of the VLC player which is a screen recorder so how you will use the screen recorder inside the I will tell you so open your VLC media player and again you have to go here to the media menu item just click on it and then again you have to go convert and save and then you will reach on this window and you have to click here on this tab capture device just click on it so window will appear so here we have a drop down so here you have to select the mode desktop because we are going to record the desktop and here we have a frame rate you can set the frame rate as you want you can increase the frame rate so the video will be more sharp just click here the convert and save okay guys now you can see the source is right now the screen so the uh, your desktop will be recorded and uh, it will be saved as a video and here we have uh, options to get an output format you can select any one of the format as per your choice as per your requirement so I'm going to select this one and here uh, we have to select the output file path so you can use this browse button to give the output file you can now click on the save so the file will be saved in .mp4 format and we have to hit the start button in the last okay guys the process is started you can see here the blank file is generated but the whole process will take some time so we have to wait for the completion of the process and right now this is everything is recording and we have to uh, do something so I'm doing some activities here on the screen I'm doing I just open it uh, paint so all these activities will be recorded uh, by the VLC player and it, this will be saved as a output file so the output video will be generated okay once you have finished your activities go here on the VLC and click here on the stop button simply so the recording will be stopped okay guys and the file output file will be saved your recording has been saved by the VLC right here okay now you can check by double click on this video file okay guys our recording is perfect but uh, just we are able to see the narrow uh, screen uh, it depends on the whatever the uh, output format we have selected we can select the different one so the aspect ratio will be uh, as per your requirement 
so you, you guys have to do uh, some experiment by taking the different different output format and guys the third one we are going to place a watermark we're going to place the watermark on the video so we can do this activity inside the VLC media player itself so what you have to do open your VLC media player and we have to open one file on which we want to place the watermark so I have selected this file and right now I just pause the video and uh, we have to go here inside the tools click on it and select the first effect and filters option then this window will appear then you have to go here on the video effects tab and again you will see lots of tabs are uh, appeared here then we have to go on the overlay and here we have the settings to place the uh, image icon uh, watermark icon watermark image on the video so we have option we have to just click on this checkbox then uh, the browse button will be enabled we have to select the watermark image here I am selecting the watermark image so this is my watermark image I have selected here and uh, after selection we can uh, uh, set the position of uh, this watermark on the video by doing up up and down arrows we can select the top and the left coordinates with the help of this up and down arrow settings and uh, there's a settings for the set the opacity level of this uh, image so you can reduce and uh, increase the opacity with the help of this slider bar and on the right hand side we have one more options we can place the text as a watermark on the video so uh, it is default is VLC you can change it just uh, right here some text that you want and uh, there's the settings for positioning of this watermark this text watermark on the video so you can select any one of the position uh, as per your requirement it's very easy and uh, very convenient features inside the VLC media player okay so guys we have selected here so just uh, click on the save button to save the settings okay and now you have to click on the close but you guys uh, know about this fact you have done the settings so this is not saved so if you will see your output video that will not be with the watermark so we have to go again the media and we have to click on the convert and save then this window will appear we have to select the video on which we want to apply this watermarking and uh, this will be added like this inside and then we have to click convert and save one more time and we will see the source file is uh, visible here and now we can choose the output file format whatever we want so I am taking here the YouTube HD and on the right side you can see the small icon you have to click on it then this window will appear so here we have to select the tab video codec just check it on this video checkbox then some items will enable and we have to go here in the filters tab click on it okay guys and uh, lots of filters are enabled we have to check the a logo filter so I'm looking for this one so here you can see logo video filter so just check it and click on this create and the, it will ask you to create the profile that means you are saving the profile that you will apply the input video okay and that in input video will be saved with watermarking okay so I am giving a profile name logo you can give any of the name of your choice and click on the create so the profile is created and it is uh, added in here in this drop down so I'm going to convert the source file so I will select uh, this uh, profile selected and then we have to choose the output file path and we have to give the output file name so I have just selected the all files and I'm going to give a name to this output file output.mp4 and click on the save button and in the last you have to hit the start button and the process is started now guys it will take some time depends on the video length 
after finishing this we will check the output okay guys the process is completed now I will now I will open the output file and I will check the watermark is there or not <coughs> okay here uh, do a right click open with the VLC media player or you can open any of the media player now you can see the output video has the watermark image as well as the watermark text on the bottom right corner so guys in this way we have seen this is uh, these are three very cool features of the VLC media player so I hope you will use so guys if you found this video useful so please like this video and share with your friends as well and guys please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon so you will get the latest video updates ASAP and guys for now thanks for watching cool IT help